Hey everybody, it's your pal Pete on the old 2022 Hand America. And I'm just out here riding around, just found a really cool place over there. Not that you care where there is, but it was over there, it was really neat. So I'm just out here too little long thinking to myself, the 120th, 120th anniversary is coming up for Harley Davidson. New models will be released in just a few days. You know, they're doing a little video and stuff. So hopefully we will be seeing what I would like to call the Rally America 975. That's what I'm calling it. It's going to be the Rally America. Rally America 975cc Pan America Junior. Or I shall call it... Breathtaking. I shall call him... Mini Me. Yes, that's what I will call it. And things I would like to see, uh, this is like my top five list, if I have five. Number five would be a 21 inch front wheel. You know, having a 21 inch front wheel would be fantastic. Uh, where in the world am I? Okay, back, focus Pete, focus number five. Um, I don't think I'm going to go down that road. Uh, 21 inch front wheel would be great. Um, number four would definitely be with the 21 inch front wheel would be a more, how do I say this, aggressive or suited for dirt more. Um, it's like, since I'm calling it the Rally America, I want to see it more like a rally bike. I want to see it on the lines of like a Nord 901, uh, the Desert, uh, the Desert RX or a Desert X, you know, uh, some long, you know, a Tenere styling, um, not styling, but you know, you know where I'm going with this, like just lighter, which we'll get in that in a minute, you know, third thing I would like to see is it come with a better um, brush guards and stuff like that for tip over because these bikes lay incredibly flat and I'd like to see a little bit better but you know that'll come hopefully my number one reason the number one thing I'd like to see uh, next would be I would really like to see if they're keeping the same body style which I believe they will um, the front fender which needs to be buzzards longer and to protect the radiator more because they're gonna have to put the radiator in the same place because it's just how where it goes I'd like to see a bat different battery positioning too instead of down at the front wheel oh wow that was a carcass they picked whatever that was clean and it was big I shall not be going back there you know and then the number one thing I would really like to see is uh, weight it's got to be 450 pounds you know wet weight it needs to be a hundred pounds lighter than this bike it, you know this would be considered your top tier Pan America BMW GS you know Tiger 1200 these are your top tier you know adventure bikes these are the big heavy ones that people are going a lot of pavement enough dirt where they can feel capable to go on adventures but also on long adventures in a comfortable way now the lighter bikes are great for off-road but they have their drawbacks when it comes to driving down the freeway to get to where you're going you know and if you're part of your adventures riding the bike to get there then you want something a little bit more weight and that can carry a lot of stuff because you know you got to take everything plus the kitchen sink you know so that's the uh, things I would like to see the weight reduction 21 inch front just a little bit more protection and uh, that's about it really I mean I just saw I care I don't care about colors just don't make it that yellow that's come out for the 23 Pan America Ugh. but I'd like to see a rally color that would be cool uh, but yeah where do you guys think where do you guys looking forward to when Harley reveals their 120th anniversary lineup what are you guys looking for outside of the Rally America 975? Well, we shall see. Anyway, thanks for watching. 
comment below what you guys think and as always thank you for your time and we will talk to you in the next video bye